Welcome to this episode of That's Good Science, where we spotlight state-of-the-art therapies that contribute to the fight against human disease. Today, we highlight a clinical oncologist, Dr. Rainier Brenchens at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, who's developing new T-cell-based immunotherapies to battle cancer one patient at a time. About 40% of people will receive a cancer diagnosis during their lifetime. Although surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy are still the front line in cancer treatment, new precision therapies are making their way onto the battlefield. One novel approach uses the body's own immune system to attack cancer cells. For example, reprogramming T cells, the biological warriors of the immune system, to recognize surface markers on cancer cells can lead to immune-mediated destruction of these cells. Dr. Brenchens recognized the potential of this tactic for treating leukemia and lymphomas. His team developed a method for engineering patient-derived T cells to recognize the cell surface protein CD19, an antigen expressed by many B cell cancers. Creating these CD19 targeting cells required efficient delivery of the antigen receptor to cultured T cells. Dr. Brenchens relied on the retronectin reagent, which he said, markedly, massively improved gene transfer. With this enhancement in gene delivery, large quantities of CD19 recognizing T cells could be generated, enough to test in patients. In a phase one clinical trial for the treatment of relapsed B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, autologous T cells expressing a CD19 specific receptor were administered to patients. Remarkably, all treated patients achieved remission. The research team plans to expand their work with a multi-center phase two study for this potentially curative immunotherapy. The retronectin reagent is enabling cell engineering and additional clinical protocols worldwide, a powerful reagent that's powering advancements in gene therapy. And that's good science.